Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So these are your options for the next 7 to 10 day prediction as usual. Pile number 1 is on your left, pile number 3 is on your right. Stop the video if you need some more time and I'll catch you in timestamps. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number 1. So let's see, I'm gonna start pulling cards from different decks first of all. This is gonna be our main deck and we're gonna be looking at overall energy for the next week week and a half also we're gonna pull a couple of advice cards one of them will be from this ocean deck i kind of want to mix a couple of decks to see what what each of them has to tell you Let's also use the animal tarot. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna leave this on the side for now. I'm also going to be pulling from intuitive deck. Whoever is new to my channel, this is just a handmade abstract deck that I read sometimes from. Okay, overall energy for pile number one. How are you feeling? What's happening the next week or two? So from these cards, what I'm seeing here for you guys, what's going to be important is your home life. And I think there is a change when it comes to your environment here. Either you're deciding to um, actually change location, so maybe you're going to be going somewhere. Um, others of you, this could be just, um, I'm seeing someone cleansing their space, I'm seeing them reorganizing. It's important for the next week for you to feel like home wherever you go. So even if you're somewhere, um, I'm seeing interior, I keep seeing interior. Even if you're somewhere that is not your home and you're visiting temporarily, it's saying just put something next to either your bed or somewhere in the living room that reminds you of home or gives you that feeling of home. Almost like your own symbol of some sort or item that, um, makes you feel like oh it's weird that you're claiming that space this isn't an energetic thing whatever it will do for you i'm also seeing i'm hearing rain on me so here it seems like some of you you might encounter um stormy weathers or, or crazy winds um on your journeys so that's something to keep in mind especially if you are going somewhere or if you'll be planning to go somewhere um, further away but overall this seems to me that someone is literally doing some sort of cleansing because rain water is very cleansing so to do with emotions maybe to do with your energy field it could be anything but it seems like you want to be cleansed before doing something um, this is strange the way I'm explaining this but I literally I see that and I'm also seeing a road and two people coming together. Now, this can be metaphorical, okay? A road in between two people, um, it seems like you may be on, on one side, the other person on, is on the other, and you meet in, in the middle. So you definitely are encountering someone who is important for you the next week or two. Okay, let's take a look at your home i just want to pull one card for this okay in case there are extra messages you have the page of spears yeah you're exploring you're exploring see um if you look at this card this guy is about to explore those pyramids so wherever you're going this is saying be curious okay there's a lot to do there is a lot of 
things to see even if it's not an actual trip that you just planned something might come up where you might even decide to go somewhere for a weekend or even if it's a walk you know outside of your neighborhood it's saying be curious uh, because it seems like there are things that you might uncover that you have never noticed before what do we need to know uh, when it comes to your overall vibe how you feeling I keep hearing you want to discover things um, nostalgia might pop up you know maybe the places you go to are people you talk to it's very nostalgic but it's very nice it's a very cozy environment you might have a conversation with someone whose soul is dear to you and it seems like you're going to have a good time but it seems pretty deep it's not about only fun you know it's not about party or you know um, anything like that even if it, it's it's going to be happening what matters it seems like to you is the vibe the setting the vibe the energy the combo nostalgia the next week or two okay that's what's happening here for you you might be coming together with someone remember how I saw that road that I talked about in between two people six of cups maybe there is a return of some sorts or people haven't seen each other for a while and it's happening what do you need to know about this you have the full you have a couple of guys that are talking about um, exploration about stepping out of your usual about trying new things and it seems like you will want to dive into the unknown let's see what is going on in your relationship department would it be romantic or platonic what's up in your relationship department you have the chariot you want to conquer someone or someone wants to conquer you i don't know what that means to you but that's the energy that's coming through here yeah definitely someone seeing someone uh, as a it's gonna sound weird as a trophy okay so i don't know what's happening here but someone definitely wants someone else's attention they want to look good in front of them they want to be uh, respected with a chariot um they are also someone who someone might someone might be showing off would it be you or someone else someone's definitely showing off relationship department it seems like everything is fine it's good um, you want respect you get in, get in that respect um, you standing strong and if you are trying to achieve anything when it comes to specifically one person in your life it's saying you're gonna come out on top of the situation okay I'm hearing someone is given in relationship yeah there's a new spark here that is happening heart to heart conversations yeah and we have a commitment here so you might be strengthening bond with someone that's for sure especially if you are married um, it seems like there is a moment where you're going to feel really happy in your relationship You're going to also want to maybe even celebrate something. Maybe a celebration is coming up. This could be to do with anniversary uh, maybe your relationship anniversary even friendship anniversary right um and i just saw facebook pop up right um friends for that many years um this could be um, an an event that you both maybe are going to be in i do see more people around you though celebrating relationships that's something that is coming up here any kind of relationships caring for one another Remembering the times when you overcame so many things is important. Let's look at your work and career. Let's look at your work and career. You have the moon. You're going to be trying to understand the signs um, or the nudges that you are receiving regarding your um, career endeavors. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely something that is being hidden from you here with the moon and in the nine of swords, especially in this deck. Um, this wolf seems to be in prison of some sorts. You are trying to get out. 
you are trying to get out get out a situation that feels like it's imprisoning you and you're trying to find ways how to do that maybe that's why curiosity is a theme here right i'm i'm researching i'm trying new things i want to see what happens career You're making a choice here for better tomorrow when it comes to career so maybe you're gonna start planning something for yourself for your future endeavors you might um, find yourself at first it seems like um, there you might be in a mood where you're like oh I'm stressed about this I've been stressed about it maybe for a while I'm trying to find a new door to open and it's saying accept that time because your whatever your mind will be telling you it's saying allow it to analyze the situation but make sure it doesn't affect your sleep or it doesn't make you anxious if you can try to be as balanced as possible because whatever this the decision you're making in the future and what you decide to prioritize or where to step forward next is definitely bringing you two happy days i think this is unavoidable you won't miss it it's saying you need to remember that the fun and happiness in career horizon is in front of you still there will be many more things happening for you that will be great so whenever you feel down it's saying just think of that think of the sun okay um, some of you maybe that's something that helps you out just sitting in the sun for 20 minutes that'd be great um, do not shut yourself off completely okay especially if you're feeling down right let's see it says leaping through the air a plan you have made is on track if you are waiting for something get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering then you have eight of autumn See, learning, curiosity, all of that is important for you the next week or two. It's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. Do your best work, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. That's great. Books, research, all of that jazz would be really beneficial for you guys since you have a page and you have the full. This is curiosity. This is wanting to be like a sponge for knowledge. And you also have consolation card. Trigger statement says, I cannot go on. True statement says, my heart is light. Please hold space for the feelings you have. Honor them and be with them. Your burden will be lightened. So I hope that this was helpful, pile number one. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. hello pal number two people so let's see what is up with you first of all so that's going to be our main deck but i want to pull from a couple of other decks before we start first i'm going to start using the intuitive tarot deck basically this is my own handmade tarot whoever is new to this channel it's abstract i do it from abstract as well what's the vibe let's see what is the vibe for the next week or two Mm. I'm loving this. Oh, 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 wait, 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 card on the floor. We're gonna have to take four cards instead of three here for you since they fell out. Okay, now I'm gonna pull one card from the Animal Tarot deck. Then we're gonna be using the essential oil oracle, oracle cards and then my ocean deck okay we're not going to look at these now we're going to look at them at the very end okay so overall vibe from these let's look what i'm seeing here the next week or two it seems like it's going to be quite um i want to say 
luxurious okay abundance is the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the first card and it seems like you guys might find yourself when you are taking some time off or you once you stop trying so hard to push something that's when um, all those rewards that have been waiting for you behind the door start coming in so I think what you find in here is it's not about patience here as much as it is about observing once you push a little bit too hard and I think some of you will decide to let go a little bit the next week or two in either in relationship or in work um, you definitely realizing what you've been trying to get too hard and it's time for you to have fun um, very light-hearted energy is coming through um, very rich energy is coming through so I wouldn't be surprised if some of you got um, money for something or would it be I don't know a donation a gift um, anything material really that's coming your way you're gonna be pretty happy about for some of you it's going to be quite unexpected I'm also seeing you keeping boundaries now this is not for all of you keeping a very strong boundaries with certain persona um, for some of you this could be a female but it doesn't have to be uh, whoever this is this is someone who might um, be a little bit nosy I want to say and you probably will want to kind of keep you know your your stories um, under the covers <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say by the way if you do have a person someone who's a little bit too nosy or tends to gossip a little bit too much it's saying um, then maybe think the next week or two if you don't want that information to come out there to the world to kind of keep your mouth shut a little bit around that person okay you'll know who you are because this is definitely not for everyone over here now let's take a look at this abundance I want to see what that abundance is about this is the healing light tarot that i'm using here for you three of pentacles five of cups I'm hearing right around the time when I feel down someone shows up now it doesn't have to be a persona it might be um, a gift from universe God whatever you believe in it shows up and it picks you up okay uh, someone is being looked after here by a spirit that is for sure what did I say see it see that someone is being looked after by a spirit by a loved one okay and th this this is giving me an ancestral vibe here it's saying whenever remember whenever you feel emotionally down or just tired after a long day you're being looked after and I think you're gonna feel it the most the next week or two when it comes to abundance um, it's saying remember that working in a team is much more powerful or communicating with people is much more powerful than doing everything on your own and that would be your key to successful ventures the next week or two in case you you lack knowledge in one department even if you work on your uh, for yourself it's saying reach for that knowledge somewhere else there's always someone who is good at this whatever you lack in right um, collaborations would be great connections with people um, working together on a project or just building relations would be great because I'm seeing a web okay coming together let's clarify the five of cups here Thing is sometimes you're a little bit too harsh on yourself make sure you don't do that the next week or two um, if things are not um, at peak you might feel like um, things are not good and it's saying we we are still learning how to balance it out right that the down times are not actually down times it could be seen as the rest times okay depending on your situation yeah Knight of Wands is here clarifying the Five of Pentacles. Knight of Wands is go, go, go type of energy, okay? And it seems like here, maybe you're going to have to take a minute at, and stop or something is not going as fast as you want. And that's when you go like, oh, it's meh. It's saying it's okay to slow down. Even the train has to stop in between 
pounds, right? You know, and when you're stopping, you're picking something up. It could be energetic, when you're giving yourself time off, or it could be um, for you to stop, because once you stop and once you stop running, um, that's when you can clearly see the signs. So like that example of a train I've given you, uh, stopping in between places, right, to pick people up, and some of them, you know, have to get off. There is a reason for that stop. And once the train starts slowing down, that's when you start looking around, right? That's when you see the signs a little bit more. Because when it goes so fast, you don't see much at all. There might be a blur. So there is something here about tracking your progress. And are you sometimes ahead of yourself, this is saying? Yeah, you're pushing too hard. It's good to push hard. I mean, I'm all about hard work, but when it comes to you know doing a little bit too much where you feel then you know your energy is low then you feel emotionally down and then you need time to pick up and there is that um, quote oh my god i don't know if i'm gonna be able to quote this i'm just gonna describe it to you it says taking a break is easier than falling sick and having to pick yourself up with medicine it's gonna take you longer if you keep continuously giving yourself breaks you keep it in balance if you push too hard then you'll probably have to you know lay in bed for a week or so right because you push too hard um, burnouts we're talking about burnouts over here I'd say uh, watch of your watch your health and honor your body the next week or two that's important you can get as much abundance as you want it's great keep that door open you know keep it coming but it's saying we we gotta pay attention to what is the origin of that of that abundance where is it coming from your hands your eyes your brain right you work using your body so honor your body accordingly this is saying Okay, let's take a look at um, your relationships. Would it be platonic? Would it be romantic? Let's see what is up in that department. You have the page of wands. Someone is making you feel very happy, almost like a child. Um, you know those, those, those days when you are careless in the best way possible. You are connecting with someone who makes you feel very grounded and peaceful. This could be your own partner. Um, this could be a friendship or this could be a soul contract, maybe a family member as well, right? Your tribe. There is some kind of commitment that you're dealing with over here. Would it be an actual commitment, you know, signed papers, or it could be a soul contract of some sorts. Yeah, and someone is very curious. I want to say someone might be bringing you a gift here because I'm seeing that. A message is coming through. A gift might be coming through. Someone wants to give to you. Those who have children, it's, it seems like your child will make you very happy the next week or two. They might do something that you're very proud of or it just touches your heart. I'm seeing reunions, I'm seeing possibility for celebrations, I'm seeing love and sharing love between people. Um, friend circle, community, I'm seeing more than one person. Specifically, one person is making you feel super grounded, okay? And I split the deck, we have the emperor. Maybe because they do kind of shine this energy of structure, order, and they stand strong. And maybe that's the person that's going to inspire you or you will take some sort of advice from them there's kind of two you know scenarios i'm seeing here one seems to me quite you know strict professional and the other relationship a situation here i'm seeing a lot of laugh um childlike behavior that is filling your heart up and i'm seeing a lot of beautiful words shared between two people okay now let's take a look at your cards that I've pulled earlier on 
we have a drift in shallow water it says and again you have a turtle so it's slow moving um, creature take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace notice the small things and appreciate them remember the uh, train train example right you only observe once you slow down you can see everything clearly so it's saying be like a turtle maybe you want to look up the uh, spiritual meaning of it oh really no shit we have the seven of autumn too <laughs> which is like literally it's not very fast moving card too almost like a waiting game in a way you know knowing what you're waiting for the planning resources and efforts you have invested in your dream will reap great rewards we talked about abundance in the meantime have patience and meditate on your next steps you have two very slow cards here okay so maybe you just have a week where you finally have some time off and you appreciate everything that you have created so far and you're like damn i'm seeing someone you know laying down on a beautiful um oh, how are they called you know the the chairs um that friends had in in friends tv uh, series that with with the handle thing like and i hear the beer open and i'm like oh it's so nice you have opportunity card it says took a statement i doubt it true statement there is hope with fresh eyes see the potential within this situation you're very um strategic the next week or two you're very clever you're very strategic you know what you want and it feels like if you allow intuition to kick in between your ventures in between your ventures you will i think you don't know what's coming your way you will reap so many more rewards in your life that you don't probably see just yet okay color green might be important for you the next week or two um heart connect to heart as well as i'm seeing those conver heartfelt conversations happening for you too here so i hope this was helpful pile number two and i'm going to catch you in the next one bye for now Hello, pal number three. So this is gonna be our main deck, uh, Santa Marte. But before that, I'm gonna be pulling from a couple of other decks. This is the handmade deck by me. I sometimes read from the abstract art. I called it intuitive deck. Okay. Let's see, pile number three. What is the vibe of the next week or two? what vibe do we have Ooh. okay mm -hmm. let's start with these I'm seeing someone whispering something in the other pe person's ear. There's something to do with secrecy. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. Maybe you're going to be told something that is supposed to be... Uh, mm, could be also a surprise factor, right? Um, someone is secretly planning something. But for others of you, I would say I'm seeing someone... Giving a sharing sharing a piece of information with you that not many people know about and that makes you have an advantage Overall It seems like there is a lot happening in a short period of time within those um, couple of weeks here I'm seeing a couple of weeks because for some of you it's going to be a, a week when it, this is happening. We're all on different time frames, right? Um, for others of you, it might kick in a couple of weeks from now. But there's a lot of things happening at once. Someone has to do this and then do that and then they take taking care of the um, home and then they go to work. Or, or if, if that's not it, there's a lot happening within your space, okay? And it seems like you're just trying to get a grasp of, um, I'm seeing a schedule, getting a grasp of what to do next. What do I need to do next? Your brain is very active. Um, maybe grounding would help because it seems like you got to do what you got to do. But I'd say maybe practice a little, even five minutes, you know, breaks in between to, to just make sure you are 
connected to your body why i'm saying connected to your body is because when we connect our mind to the body even you know touching your hand and feeling just your skin and really looking at the details and the smelling you know and maybe smelling your own perfume or touching the fabric you connect into yourself and i think that makes you ground the same way when you're making a cup of coffee in the morning if you if you're out there you know if your thoughts are all over the place you probably don't even notice how you mix the a cup of coffee you probably just do things automatically but if you want to feel a little bit you know pushed down you know grounded um to the earth just um do it do it a little bit a little bit slower pay attention to how you stir the coffee um smell it um, touch the cup feel feel the warmth of the cup right it's just all about sense and I don't know why I'm saying that but maybe some of you will find this useful okay so we're gonna pull from the ocean deck first we're not gonna look at these cards just yet we're gonna look at them at the very end to do the work and we're also going to be using the essential oil oracle cards all right i feel like you have two so we're going to take both and one card from the animal tarot I'm also, I'm also getting someone wants to snog you. Oh. And as I said that, the card flew right out. Okay. Let's take a look at that energy um, of yours here. I just want one card as an addition to what I have been picking up. I'm seeing someone planning their next steps so what's important for you the next week or two is where do you see yourself next and I'm not talking about far future I'm talking about the next steps that you're taking and why you want to go wherever you are going what is the reasoning behind it what that's going to give you it's almost like you are sitting with yourself to think things through what is this idea what is this move will give me why am i actually in need of this will it help me within or will it help maybe my finances um, relationship whatever that would be there is a lot of whys evaluation I'm hearing I want to evaluate my current situation and to decide what I'm gonna do next maybe that's why you have a lot to do right because there's a lot in your head that's that's happening at once you're like I gotta do this I gotta do that I'm working on a plan let's take, take a look at your career stability finances you have the king of wands Career, stability, finances. You have the two of swords. You have the ace of swords. You're pretty good at making decisions and feeling it, feeling your decisions through. You're really good at um, getting shit done quickly um, the next week or two when it comes to work. You feel creative. You feel inspired. You feel like you do have... Um, not only enough energy for your own tasks but what you could do on a side as well so if you have a hobby if you're thinking about a new idea this will all come through your mind will be literally like on fire okay but I don't feel like we talked about this about burnout in one of the other piles I don't feel like that would be happening for you I feel like you're just on peak that's your energy on peak um, having to make a decision I know exactly which path to take I know what to do with this I'm seeing someone working really fast very efficiently they're very focused and, and it's because your energy the next week or two will probably be almost like charged up 
you know it's it's very sweet i love this for you also very charming someone is appreciating your work someone appreciates how you work okay so you might get a compliment or someone's gonna say something and you're like oh that's thank you great It's almost like you can see situations from above you know what everything everyone is doing like a helicopter um, and you're able to evaluate situations and to make right right decisions for yourself and maybe for other people too if you are a boss yeah you're very analytical work is great you have great energy when it comes to work the next week or two okay you're also knowing when to take a moment to stop, slow down, in order for you to see the full picture. And that's when you keep on going then. You have a really good balance. Yeah, you're taking notes about everything. You're taking notes, you're organized, you have good energy, you have plenty to give and plenty to build with. Yeah, you like, you, you're everywhere. You're everywhere. Okay, hey, let's look at your relationships. Would it be romantic? Would it be platonic? Doesn't matter, whatever is coming through, that's important. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Magician. You're on fire, pile number three. I don't know how long this period will last you know it doesn't have to be the whole week or two like this you might just have you know three or four days like that where you just like I got everything on point even your relationships look you very um, you know exactly what you want and what you want to improve in your relationship department and it seems like some of you will be probably digging a little bit deeper deeper why you used to go for something that is not 100 percent for you um what why things were like they were uh, reflection is happening reflection on things that maybe were hard for you in the past relationship wise I think some of you are, might be consulting a tarot reader when it comes to relationship here. Seeing someone get in a private reading, going to their own tarot reader or, or, or any spiritual person really that you trust. You trust their work and you might be inquiring about new love um, or you might be inquiring about new connections, so platonic. And for some of you, you might feel that someone new is coming your way here or the current partnership is going to be improving. Yeah, you have a lot of questions when it comes to relationship, maybe specific family, even member a friendship or a romantic relationship. You're like, I have so many questions I want answers for. You're very curious for your new beginnings with people. And you know that the time is ticking. Someone is saying the time is ticking. Yeah, you're waiting for some kind of news or for information. You're like, I can't wait for this to, to be clear for me. I can't wait. Maybe you're waiting for a person. This could be also connected. Um, and you know that this person is going to be on the horizon soon or you're coming together with someone here but it's not for many of you definitely not for as many of you mm, it's just a fertile week if we're talking about romantic relationships so that's something to keep in mind for you um, also I want to say you might hear you might find out that someone is pregnant <laughs> just that's coming through here I think maybe the um, information you know that secrecy you're gonna be telling someone that you are pregnant or someone else is pregnant and not many people know um, because there is quite a lot of fire here we have a lot of wands so there is a lot of passion okay a new creation of some sorts is happening here 
when two people come together. Now, it doesn't have to be only a child. It could be an idea, two people communicating together, a new creation comes out of it, right? A new project, something that you wanna build together. It doesn't matter how big or small that is. Let's take a look at your cards. Let me put this back. Let's start with the ocean deck. It says, surrounded by prosperity, your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. I told you, very focused. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. Strength. It says, true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. I'm seeing someone being a really good leader or someone has a really good boss or leader, you know, um, a compassionate, um, kind, someone who shows example instead of pointing fingers to the tasks that have to be done. Then we have well. Trigger statement says, I am a victim. True statement says, I am powerful beyond measure. You are strong twice and capable with gratitude, gratitude, optimism, and action. Manifest the life you desire. Then you have peaceful. Trigger statement, my life is a mess. True statement, I find stillness within. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Go within to find peace there and your life will reflect that. So I hope that this was helpful, pile number three, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.